Hi there, welcome to our next video in the 12 Steps to Becoming a Mailbox Power Genius video series. Today I'm going to show you how to put a 12 month prospecting campaign in place for Group A. As you know, if you followed this video series, Group A is your closest knit group of people. It's your best referral sources, your favorite past clients, your just your like the people that are in your corner, right? And I'm going to be demonstrating it by using a uh, four by six postcard campaign. With our pro membership, the four by six postcards are uh, no cost. You pay for the postage, but the postcards themselves are free. So uh, I will. I will show you how to do this with group A, but if you wanted to extend it to group B and even to group C, then uh, you may have the budget and the inclination to do that and you'd be welcome to do that. I'll also talk to you and show you how you can modify the campaign. So if instead of sending 12 postcards, you wanted to include maybe greeting card, postcard, postcard, greeting card, postcard, postcard, something like that, you could do that. And as always, if you have any uh, questions or you want um, my team and our concierge to uh, set that up for you, uh, let me know. Or if you're interested in being enrolled in our uh, uh, card of the month club, then uh, reach out to my team directly and we can get that set up for you as well. But uh, let's dive right in. I'll show you how to set up the campaign. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and share my screen. Uh, as you know, when you log into the system, this is the page where you will be taken. And so what, uh, and as you know, if you watch the other videos in the series, I like to organize the process around who am I going to send it to? What am I going to send? When am I going to send it? The who we we've already answered. It's group A. Um, this is going to be very similar to the geographic farm campaign that we have in place. And, uh, so that question send it to group A. And, you know, as I said, if you want, you can send it also to group B and group C. But those groups have been created in the address book. Hopefully they've already been populated with the people in your life who would fit in those categories. Uh, and so now we need to answer the question, what are we going to send? And for this, I'm going to go to our campaign store. Just uh, go to the drop down menu, the main menu here, and all the way down to the campaign store. Again, these are all the different categories of campaigns for the different uh, industries that Mailbox Power offers. And so if you have friends uh, or people uh, you know who you think might benefit, by all means, feel free to share Mailbox Power with them. But we're gonna work in the real estate space again. So just click on real estate. These are you know, some of the free campaigns. These are just single touch campaigns, but we want a whole 12 month campaign. And I'm gonna pick a specific one for a specific reason. So there's this Realtor 12 month farming campaign. And this is the one I'm gonna work with today. So we click on this and I have already purchased this. This is uh, $29.99. This is the campaign license. It gives me the right to use these designs for the life of my account. Uh, the reason that I want to pick this campaign today is because this is called an event-based campaign, meaning each of these touches is sent on a specific date. So January's goes out on January 10th, February on January 25th, March on March 9th, April on April 1st. So uh, what is great is once I install this, which I'll do in just a moment, the system will send these out based on the date and so you can start it at any point throughout the year and it will just cycle back around so on december 7th let's say we started it uh today um and it's uh february so january 25th has already passed but march 9th has not yet happened the way that this particular campaign will work because it is a date based campaign is it will send and it's not not year dependent so it'll go through, it'll send March, April, May, June, July, blah, 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 all the way to December. And then on January, it will cycle back around and it'll send January 10th and January 25th for the February touch. So I don't need to worry about when I'm going to start it. I can start it at any point throughout the year and it'll cycle through for one year and then it will stop. As with the other designs, if I wanted to, uh, well, let me, let me first start by I'm going to install uh, another version into Campaign Builder and activate it. If you had not yet purchased this, this button would be green. You just click on the button, it'll charge your mailer meter automatically, you authorize it to do that, and then what will happen is once you click on it, it'll, it'll take you to the Campaign Builder and it's going to install this automatically. And so we're going to let that do that and um, be right back in just a moment. 
Okay, here we go. You can see that the campaign has been installed. It's currently paused. What we need to do, and notice also that this is an event campaign, meaning that it is date specific. So now what we need to do is uh, edit each touch, make sure it looks exactly the way that we want it to. The way you do that is you just click that options and edit campaign. It's gonna open each of the touches here. And then we just click on the edit button. It'll take us into the individual shipment. So this is January shipment. It's gonna go out January 10th. I don't tend to futz around too much with the dates. I just sort of leave it the way it is. And once the project shows up right here, then all you have to do is click edit project and it's going to take us into the project editor. And then it works just like every other touch in every other campaign that we have talked about in this video series. So if I wanted to update any of the text, I could do that. I would just click on the text here. If I wanted to add a photo, I would click here and then come over up to this button that says photo. And you can see, just a reminder, it does link with your Facebook and your Instagram. So I'll just pick a photo to put in here just as a placeholder so that you guys can you know, get a sense of the workflow. Just click on the album here. It pulls up the individual pictures. I love this house. Oh, it's like a dream house of mine. Uh, um, so that that is as how easy it is to add a photo. If I wanted to remove the photo, I could also add a logo here. Uh, but if I wanted to remove the photo, all I do is click empty and then delete and it deletes it. Uh, and then, so this is the front. It's taking a second to load the, there we go. There's the, the photo that comes with this particular touch. So uh, I'll show you if I wanted to add a photo past uploads um, uh, to, or rather to add a logo, um, you know, just drag and drop. Nope. Oh hold on no nope, don't want to do that this button is really handy this little undo button so that just undoes it uh, and so we'll just uh, go ahead no nope, it keeps adding it automatically but uh, you guys know what you're doing when it comes to adding stuff let me just it's gonna add it to the whole thing I'll show you on the back so if I flip over to the back uh, this shows me happy new year first name uh, it, and then thinking about moving in the new year, wondering what your property might be worth, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd love to chat, return first name. It's gonna pull all this information and put it in here automatically. If I wanted to add my headshot, I would just add that photo there. And then my photo here, this is where I could add a logo. Uh, and so let me see where there might be, uh, uh, uh. Perhaps in here, ah, yes, this is, uh, you can't tell because the, so, ooh, because this is the white logo for my company. And so what I can do is if I pick the whole card and I come over here to background, we'll add a little uh, gradient background here. It looks super cool. And so then you can see there's the, the my company logo. And I can, you know, I can move it around. I can make it look just exactly the way I want it to look. Uh, and so then I just click save. Once it looks the way I want it, I just click save, come back here, that looks great. Save, return to save projects. What's cool is once I save it, it is updated automatically in the campaign itself. So I just as sort of good housekeeping, I like to return to saved projects, but you don't necessarily need to. Once it's saved, it's just updated here. Then all I do is click save shipment and it, it is, now updated for my January touch. Then we'll come here. I'll go through one more just so you can get a sense of the workflow. So February, it's going to go out on January 25th. So it'll arrive, you know, early February, which is great. And then edit project, same thing. It's going to take me into the project editor and it'll load all the elements. It's party time uh, because it's, you know, the Super Bowl. Uh, and then uh, let's see, I will go here and just select the right element there come over here and uh, I you know as you know if you've been through the series so far I'm not big on logoing up everywhere but we just maybe add it a little bit on the front here and if I want to see what it looks like yeah that's fine then we'll flip over to the back hi first name do you need more room for next year's Super Bowl party? Let me know. I'd love to help you find the perfect entertaining space. There could even be more room for a bigger TV. Return first name. And then same thing. I can add this. 
Uh, as always, with everything that you're mailing out, every every uh, area in the country is different in terms of their uh, advertising requirements. Also, your individual company will have specific requirements. So just make sure that you're following along with uh, all of those disclosures and any information that you're legally required to put on your marketing pieces. Make sure that that is there for sure. But it's easy to do. So I'll add a little bit of text. I'll show you because it's not actually on here. Um, so uh, I'm going to add the text that says uh, this is not intended intended as a solicitation if your house is currently listed with a real estate broker. Uh, so I know that we are required to put uh, that on all of our marketing and also it'll keep you out of trouble. Now something to note, uh, this address area is blocked out automatically as is the postage area. So you can change the font size and again stay within the requirements within your local jurisdiction of course. And then we'll just shrink that down and uh, I'm gonna put that, where am I gonna put this? I will put that here. Um, we'll make it a little bit smaller. I think we can go as small as six, per, six point font. And I'll show you actually one other way that you could do this. If you wanted, you, I could just move all of this up. You can see those purple snap lines show me when everything is centered just the way that I want it to look. So that's going to come up and boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Then we'll bring this down here and that fits in there. Perfect. So that looks just the way that I want it to look. Click save and again, return to saved projects, although that is not necessary. It's just an extra step for my OCD. Uh, <laughs> once I save the project, it's automatically updated here. Then all I have to do is click save shipment. And now uh, your job is to go through each of the next 10 touches. Make sure that they look just exactly the way that you want them to look. Once you have finished with that, um, actually, let me show you a quick tip. If you wanted, I could click edit. Let's say I wanted to send a greeting card in March instead of a postcard. Then what I would do is uh, I would open the shipment, come over here, add a project. I'd want to make sure I obviously have the card designed, right? And um, I'll just say, I'll just find a, a random card just so you can see how it works. Let's just say I was going to send this card. All I do is click add and then remove from shipment the postcard, save shipment, done. Really easy. So you can swap things out. The, the, the pro tip of changing items within the campaign is make sure to add the new item first and then remove the old item. It'll just keep everything copacetic. Also, if you don't wanna futz around with any of this and you want my team to handle it for you, we do have a, a program in place where we can do that. So by all means, feel free to reach out. We'll get it all set up for you. We also have a card of the month club, which uh, will generate uh, a couple different card options for you each month. And then you can just have that be sent out. So lots of different options, but this is, you know, uh, so that you can take care of this yourself. You don't need to wait for me or my team or anybody. Uh, and so at this point, you want to just go through and make sure that each touch is looking exactly the way that you want it to look. Once that is finished, then the only two things to do are, are to start the campaign and link the group. Because as we know, our system is built around groups in the address book that are linked to campaigns. We know that this is a campaign that we're sending at least to group A. So what we wanna do is come to options, Go to manage recipients here. It's going to take us to the address book. If there was an individual contact I wanted to enroll, I could do that here. But we're going to go ahead and enroll an entire group. We just click enroll a group. And it's going to take us into the address book. Then all we're going to do is find group A. Or if you want to send a group A and, and group B and group C, like whomever is in the group that you want to send this to, we just find the group and then click enroll this group. And so we just come down here to group A over here, enroll this group. Yours will have more than zero people. This is obviously just to 
demonstrate how this all works for the this video series. So group A is enrolled, then all we do is come back to the group here. Currently it's pause, options, start campaign. Now, your follow-up for group A and or group B and or group C is now finished for the next 12 months. Uh, so really easy, very straightforward. It's just the next step in our video series. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is on my website. It's also all over this video probably, uh, down in the comments somewhere. Uh, and um, let's move on to the next video in our 12 steps to becoming a mailbox power genius video series. Thanks.